I design things in different ways. Um, some things are strictly from intuition. Just take a sheet of paper and put in folds knowing what the effect of those folds are going to be. And that's usually for fairly simple things. For complex pieces, I will lay out a design on paper before I ever start folding. And I've developed a bunch of techniques in which I establish a correspondence between the features of the shape, arms, legs, and wings, and uh, patterns of creases on the paper that form simple geometric shapes, squares, rectangles, circles, hexagons. And so when I'm designing the figure, I create these little shapes that represent all the parts. I arrange them on the paper to find a neat arrangement where they all sort of snap together almost like puzzle pieces. And once I've found that arrangement on the paper, then I can follow some pretty codified rules for adding fold lines in such a way that that pattern will now fold down to something that resembles the shape that I'm after. It won't look exactly like it. It won't have all the folds that I need at the end, but it'll give me the arms and the legs and the wings, leaves, petals, and flower, uh, other parts of a flower if that's what I'm doing. And then I can go back to intuitive folding to do the final shaping that gives me the finished shape. Figuring out what to include is the artistic challenge. It's what, what shapes are important to conveying the essence of this subject. And different origami artists, like different artists in any other media, make different choices about what's important to them, what, uh, what appeals to your mind's eye. Uh, most of the time for me, I like a fair amount of detail in what I make. Um, I'll, I'll look at the, at the actual subject, the real flower, plant, or whatever, and kind of ask myself, what are the important lines of this subject? You know, what stands out to me and, and what aspect of the subject really conveys the essence, the character of that flower? And, and it is purely an aesthetic choice, an artistic decision. But once I've chosen what those features are, then I switch to a much more systematic, mathematical approach of rendering each of those subjects as an element of my overall design.